The customer experience can be many things. That can be over email, it could be face to face, it can be online, it can be getting a delivery. So the customer experience is actually quite a wide topic and a lot of people mistake it with customer service. Everyone in the company is responsible to make sure that a customer gets a great experience. So even if you're in finance, you're making financial policies that will impact the customer, the type of people you're recruiting, HR, will affect the, the customer's experience because of the type of people that have been recruited to face the customer. So everyone is responsible for customer experience. So what's at the heart of the book is the concept of behavioural economics, how people behave and the effect upon money. It's about understanding the customer at a much deeper perspective. So we look at the rational experience, what customers do, how they feel and what makes them feel that emotion. And that's part of what, what we would call a subconscious experience and the psychology that backs it up. First of all, recognise that people buy emotionally and then they justify with logic. Okay? So you've got to recognise that over 50% of an experience is about how a customer feels. Second area is to recognise that customers are irrational. They do irrational things and therefore don't try and box customers into that one particular area. And the third area is probably the biggest thing I've learned over the last 10 years has been what's called the peak end rule, which is recognizing that loyalty is about customers' memories. What people remember, how memories are formed, is from the peak emotion of that experience, and that could be positive or negative, and the end emotion of that experience, and that could be positive or negative. So understanding what your peak emotion is, what your end emotion is, and what you want them to be are critical when you're designing your customer experience.